What is up, YouTubers? This is JTamer22 here. Today I'll be showing you how to use your HD PVR capture software to stream over to Twitch. So first, what you need is you'll need to have HD PVR capture software. You will need the licensed version because if you don't, then you'll only be able to stream for two minutes, and it takes about two minutes to set up. So you probably won't get any stream timing in. I bought it for 30 bucks, and I got the standard edition. That is all you need. Do not pay for anything else that they have. You try to upgrade to like a premium version or something. You just need the $30 standard edition. So see if you have standard edition or anything else. Just stay right here. If you have demo, go out and buy it. It will say your device serial number right here, which is what you'll need for um, your program in order to buy it. Your video out input and output right here is your input. For your video, right here is your audio input. I have mine set just to make sure it shows up. Right here under video signal detection, it says um, 1280p by or 1280 by 720 by 60p. Pretty good. Now, if I were to go under and click on uh, composite or component, as you see here, it says no video signal. So that is showing you that there is no video signal there. So when I get the signal back up, here we go. Go to audio. Choose what type of audio quality you want. I usually go for best or insanely good audio. You want this on yes, this on yes. Everything else should be fine. Video controls, if you're going to use your mic, you don't need this right now, but if you need your microphone, it would be right here. Then you go over to network, uncheck this unless you want to record it, Go down to here and make this make sure this is on. So then what you do is you just click record. And then this will pop up. You just wait about, I think it's 5 to 10 seconds for your VLC program to start up. If you don't have VLC, then this will not happen. To go to get VLC, you just have to go to the VLC in your Google and it will come up. As you can see, I have a software update right here, which I have to do. So let's minimize this. But as you see, now you can see the screen on my Xbox, and there's about a six second delay between my Xbox and this right here, according to the software. And I just timed it, and it is six seconds between the time I clicked the A button and the time that this came up. So then what you need to do is you need to get OBS, which you can get from the by searching OBS on Google and you get to obsproject.com. You can download it here for Windows 7 slash 8 or you can download it for Mac and Linux. So then when you have that, all you have to do is then download it and open it. And as you can see here, what you want to do is you want to click the plus right here. And then you can see how it says scene 1. You click OK. You can name it whatever you want. And then in order to get your screen up on there from VLC, you click on the plus here. Go on Video Capture Device. Then you just name it or click on Existing. You just click OK. Then right here, I messed up, guys. You don't click on Video Capture Device. That was my bad. click on window capture that's what you want then you click on yes and you see here it says window you go here and you see here it says VLC and then UDP and this IP that you saw before in um, HDP VR capture software anyway you just click on that and as you can see now this pops up here you just resize it try to get rid of that little bottom bar there and the top bar as best as you can That's good now, so then we can just stretch this out. Move it up. That's not that bad right there. So this is perfect right here. Next, if you want, you can also go here. You can also go to video capture device, and you can get your video camera, which mine's not plugged into the computer right now. But then you can also do another video capture. Um, you can do your audio input capture for if you're doing computer gaming output capture also for computer gaming you can also add your mic in which I already have my mic set up but then after you do that next you need to go to twitch you can all mess around with these settings then you see here it says your little gaming name here you click on that 
then you go down to dashboard and then you go here to stream key you click on show key right here a little warning will come up please do not show this when you're streaming recording or anything else so I'm not going to click on it but then you click that you go over to OBS when you click on start streaming it will ask you to put this in but, or you can go to preferences click on stream click on twitch not YouTube twitch come on twitch and you click the closest server to you mine is actually not that mine is New York New York it's closest city to me we'll leave let's see if there's a yep closest city to me and then you just click OK and then voila now you're all ready to stream let's test it you click by search streaming it says connecting right here and then what you do is then let's go over to twitch let's go on my profile let's go to channel loading channel data and as you can see right here it says I'm live it's loading the video of course an ad pops up but <clears throat> guys I just made this uh, gaming channel I'll leave the link to that in the description it's called angry gaming I will also be streaming every once in a while Usually I'll tell you where I'm going to be streaming, but every once in a while I'll just pop on. So always check your emails if you follow me for that to happen. I also have my GTA, my GTA clan in the description if you would like to join that. That was actually a really scary preview. Anyway, as you can see here, my screen shows up, so I'm just going to move over. And then let's see how long it takes. I move over again. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, I think they said a whole minute, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, Oh, actually, this didn't even load. Yes, I did. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. There you go. Just moved over. 49, 50, 50. So it takes about 50 seconds. Plus, my internet's not the best internet for uploading. It takes me about 50 seconds lag between my OBS software and, or my Xbox and the uh, uh, the uh, Twitch live stream. All right, guys. I hope you liked it. This is JDamer22. I'll hope to talk to you again. Have fun, guys.